Hi guys, Arthur here from Homeowner DIY. Guys, this is your quick tip of the week. This Delta brand faucet is leaking on the cold side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to replace the cartridge. So what we'll do now is material and tools. So for the material and tools list, I have two cartridges, one for each side. The cartridge is a D1 for Delta. And then for the seat and spring, this is a D9 for a set of springs and seats. Needle nose pliers, multi-bit screwdriver, and then a 10 inch crescent wrench. This is what I need for material and tools for this job, so let's get started. Since this is a two handle faucet, only the cold stop on the right needs to be shut off. If it's a single handle faucet, then both stops would need to be shut off. Depending on the age of the house, the stops can be really stiff like they are here and it's not uncommon for the stops to leak as well when you're either opening and closing them. Before taking anything apart, make sure to block the drain with a stopper or I'm just using a piece of tissue paper in this case so you don't lose anything down the drain. You can see that the faucet is still dripping which means either I didn't close the stop all the way or the washer is not holding tight anymore inside the stop. For this Delta faucet, it's a Phillips screw. Remove the screw and then pull the handle off. Depending on the age of the faucet, like in this case here, it can be a little bit stuck. Just wiggle it back and forth until it comes off. Next, the nut holding the cartridge into the body faucet needs to be removed. This is a standard thread, so unthread it and then the cartridge can be pulled out. Take the new and old cartridge and compare the two to make sure that they match. These two do match, so everything here works out. Here is the spring in the seat and these need to be changed. Using the needle nose pliers, grab the seat in the spring and then pull them out. Here's the seat in the spring. The small end goes into the seat and then the seat will fit over the spring and that'll keep tension on the seat. For the new spring and seat, put the two together and then using needle nose pliers, reinstall into the hole. This will only go on one way. Once it has been reinstalled, make sure that it's sitting the way it should be, otherwise the cartridge won't go in properly. So for hot and cold, the cartridge is the same, you just flip it the opposite way. The flat part will be going to the outside. So you can see how the hot the handle is parallel with the wall. This is how you want it when the faucet is off. Hand tighten the nut and then using the crescent wrench, tighten the nut back down. Give it an extra quarter turn after you feel resistance. You don't need to tighten this very much. Put the handle back on and then take the Phillips screw and then tighten the screw all the way down. Once the screw has been tightened down, give the handle a shake to make sure it feels solid. Open either one or both stops depending on what you need to shut off. Now because this is a globe style, open it all the way and then give the valve a quarter turn back in so the internals of the valve doesn't seize to the body. With the water back on, do a final test. So open both sides on and off and make sure nothing is dripping. And in this case, everything is working perfectly fine. So here you can see how the top of the seat has been worn down a little bit. There's lines in the seat and this is what caused the leak. So when it comes to repairing a Delta faucet, I would suggest replacing both sides. And here you can see how the faucet and the seat, the design, how it works. And you can see the wear on the metal. But this was a less than $20 fix. And this faucet will be good to go once again for years to come. This is simple. You can do it on your own with minimal tools. Guys, that is your quick tip of the week.